choose to go to the moon. Lift off on Apollo 11. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm David Curley at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum where we are marking 50 years since man landed and walked on the moon in a lander just like this one. We are going to show you some of the actual ABC News coverage from 50 years ago during that eight day mission of this remarkable achievement. For eight days, Americans, really most of the world, were watching this mission very closely. And it all started with liftoff of the biggest rocket ever to carry men into space, the Saturn V. Here was our coverage 50 years ago on ABC News. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. This is Frank Reynolds at ABC Space Headquarters in New York. Jules Bergman is standing by at Cape Kennedy. We are 27 minutes, 47 seconds away from the liftoff of Apollo 11, the fulfillment of that pledge you saw President Kennedy repeating there just a moment ago. Actually, that speech, uh, the film clip we had of it, was made in Houston in September of 1962. The first formal commitment to land a man on the moon and return in this decade was made in May of 1961. And what a great big kick he would have gotten out of this thing. And how awful that he can't be down there at the Cape today to see it lift off and to see his words come true. Let's go back to Jules Bergman at the Cape. Words, uh, words President Kennedy did indeed make uh, true this day, Frank. At T-minus 27 minutes and four seconds, all going very smoothly. It has to be over 100 degrees here in the broiling Florida sun where the VIPs are gathered to watch this launch just downrange. There's the crowds assembled, at, and that's the jetty at Port Canaveral, some 10 miles or 11 miles south of uh, Pad 39 and our ABC News Space Headquarters here at the Cape. Well, they're all looking over toward that pad now. Hot, scaldingly hot, but a beautifully clear day at 6 minutes and 11 seconds before this all begins. All right, let's go six now minutes to and uh, launch control. Excuse right. me, Jules. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We passed the six-minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11. Now five minutes, 52 seconds and counting. Three minutes, 25 seconds and counting. We're still go at this time. T-minus 60 seconds and counting. We passed T-minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50-second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12. 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Plus 30 seconds. Roll complete and a pitch program. 